Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm in Los Angeles, I'm so excited, and I'm sitting next to Eileen from Lavender. Lavender is probably one of the first YouTube channels I started to follow. Um, she has had a profound impact and influence in my life and has been seriously inspiring. So I'm having a bit of a like fan moment where in awe of actually sitting next to her, let alone filming with her. Now it is an absolute honor that I get to interview Eileen and ask her questions. You definitely have to check out her channel. She talks about minimalism, um, like how to improve your life, how to live more authentically, and you're like a really like wise soul. Like you're <laughs> like you. the <laughs> big sister you go to when you're like just trying to figure stuff out and mm -hmm. like work out your your path in life. So I want to ask you like what are your secrets to success? Like what are the things you do to live your life? Because you looking at your videos, you're what like. I want and what is I'm passionate about. You are what I want to be when I grow up. <laughs> Kinda. Well, I've, I'll, I guess I'll share like five habits today. Five I habits to success. That. And the first one that I always talk about in my videos is you have to believe in yourself. You have to believe that you can grow. Yeah. Like even though you might not be the person that you want to be, believe that you can learn the skills and learn how to get there. Like some people, because some people believe that it's not possible to grow and change, but you have to believe that it's possible in order to make that change happen. And you have achieved so much. Like you've tried so many different things and you're open about things that you've failed at and it, how it's all kind of worked out because you've kept the belief in yourself and yeah. you kept going. Yeah, especially if you're doing something risky like becoming like an entrepreneur or a blogger. There's a lot of uncertainty. A lot of people, like my peers and my family, didn't believe that I could do it. And wow. it's hard when the people around you don't believe it and they're just like, oh, haha, it's a joke. Mm -hmm. But I, I think it's in those moments that you have, like you create that belief for yourself. Yeah. Otherwise, like you're not going to get anywhere. Like you have to just make it happen. And you've proved them wrong. Yeah. <laughs> So the second tip is a commitment and perseverance because without that, like you're not going to go very far. Mm -hmm. I think any journey is going to be difficult. No matter what you're trying to do, you're going to come across obstacles, challenges, and it's having the commitment and the perseverance to just keep going on no matter what. Mm -hmm. That's how you're going to get there. If you just think about someone's journey, say like someone was working for 10 years at something and then he's like, oh my gosh, I've been working so long. It's been 10 years and I still haven't made it. I think I should give up now. Mm -hmm. But what if it was the 11th year where yeah. he has that breakthrough? Mm -hmm. So you never know when your breakthrough is going to be. So and it can have to come out going. of the weirdest things. Like mm -hmm. you might meet someone like in a random situation or you might read something and that, that might be like, you never know what it is. It's going to exactly. help like, catapult you through. Yes. There's so many things outside of your control that you can only do your best and I, I do believe the universe will help you. Yeah, so right? do I. The universe yeah. has your back. When you when yeah. you are, you know, committed and, and dedicated and passionate about your goal, the universe like has got your back and, and helps you through the way. Exactly. Yeah. And then the next success habit is consistency. So learning to make a habit out of the action that takes you towards your goals. Mm. So it, it can be anything, like say you're trying to lose weight, it's not about the goal that I want to lose 10 pounds, mm. it's about like you have to build the habit of consistently showing up every day yeah. to the gym yeah. or yeah. consistently showing up every day to write that book that you've always wanted to write. Like that sacred ritual. Exactly. What You have to make something into a routine and a ritual because if you don't, you're going to come up with excuses mm -hmm. and you're going to procrastinate and you know what I mean? It's, it's just... Yeah, building that habit is so important. The next habit is to have a positive mindset. And when I mean positive mindset, I mean you look back at your journey and be how like be very grateful for how far you've come versus looking ahead in your journey and feeling like, oh my gosh, there's so much left to go and, and you feel unmotivated. Mm -hmm. So I think when you are grateful for how far you've come and grateful for everything that you have already, it kind of creates more of the positive energy to help you grow in your life. If you spend your time being cynical or negative or feeling just kind of like overwhelmed, mm -hmm. looking at all the things you want to accomplish, you're going to like focus on how hard the journey is, yeah, yeah. which is not good for you. It's better to focus on like, oh my gosh, I'm so proud of myself for accomplishing this, this, and this versus like, oh my gosh, the journey ahead is so hard. Yeah. Okay. Right? Totally get it. I talk about that yeah. a lot with like focusing on your progress, like exactly. tracking how, what you've done, like tracking you know, your wins. Exactly. Right? And mm -hmm. like, you know, 
go to bed and don't think about all the things I didn't get done today. Think about all the things you did get exactly. done today. Exactly. Yeah. That's a, it's, it's a slight change. I don't think many people think about it, but it makes a huge, huge difference. Huge, huge, huge yes. difference. Mindset is everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mind totally. over matter. <laughs> yes. And then the last success habit is something that I like to call conscious steering. So some people think that, okay, if I work hard, I'm going to succeed. And it's not just about working hard. No. In my opinion, it's about working smart. It's about whatever step you're taking, like say you make a mistake, you have to learn from it. Like always like reflect and take the time to consider how you're doing and ask yourself, is there a better way to do this? Mm. Is, is there something new that I should yeah. learn to get past this obstacle? Is there like a more efficient way? Exactly. Yeah. There's always like a smarter way to go about things. Maybe you don't have the skills that you need to get there. So in that case, maybe you have to spend time learning something mm -hmm. new. So I think it's not just about working hard at the same thing. Yeah. You, you have to be creative and yeah. like steer your way as you go. Yeah. Um, thank you so much. These yeah. are such helpful tips and they're so different as well mm -hmm. um, and it's so nice to hear it from a different perspective and and you know be inspired and motivated mm -hmm. to like keep going on our, on our passion. So yeah. thank you very much for the video content you make. It is so beautiful. I will link in the video description box Eileen's channel. It is absolutely beautiful. Her videos are like watching like an inspiring like mini movie and <laughs> they're just so beautiful and they're so uplifting. So I highly recommend them for anyone that's you know having a tough day or is looking for an extra dose of inspiration and motivation. Thanks for watching everyone. If you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you, and definitely go and check out Lavender. Thanks so much. Bye. <laughs>